Ischemic heart disease. Ischemic heart disease, IHD, is defined as a lack of oxygen and decreased or no blood flow in the myocardium. The disease results from coronary artery narrowing or obstruction and is manifested as the clinical syndrome of angina pectoris. Ischemic heart disease has many clinical expressions including stable exertional angina, unstable rest, pre-infarction or crescendo angina, silent myocardial ischemia, acute coronary insufficiency, coronary vasomotion or vasospasm associated with atypical variant or Prince Metals angina, and myocardial infarction. Pathophysiology. The major determinants of myocardial oxygen demand and VO2 are heart rate, contractility, and intramyocardial wall tension. Wall tension is thought to be the most important factor. Because the consequences of ischemic heart disease usually result from increased demand in the face of a fixed oxygen supply, alterations in MVO2 are important as a cause of ischemia and for interventions intended to alleviate it. A clinically useful indirect estimate of MVO2 is the double product DP, which is heart rate, HR, multiplied by systolic blood pressure, SBP, or DP equals HR times SBP. The double product does not consider changes in contractility, an independent variable, and because only changes in pressure are considered, volume loading of the left ventricle and increase MVO2 related to ventricular dilation are underestimated. MVO2 and the caliber of the resistant vessels delivering blood to the myocardium are the prime determinants in the occurrence of ischemia. The normal coronary system consists of large epicardial or surface vessels. These offer little resistance to myocardial flow and intramyocardial arteries and arterioles, R2 which branch into a dense capillary network to supply basal blood flow. Under, under normal circumstances, the resistance in R2 is much greater than in R1. Myocardial blood flow is inversely related to arteriolar resistance and directly related to the coronary driving pressure. Atherosclerotic lesions, including R1, Increase arteriolar resistance and R2 can vasodilate to maintain coronary blood flow. With greater degrees of obstruction, this resistance is inadequate, and the coronary flow reserve afforded by R2 vasodilation is insufficient to meet oxygen demand. Relatively severe stenosis, 80 to 85% may provoke ischemia and symptoms at rest, while less severe stenosis may allow a reserve of coronary blood flow per exertion. The diameter and length of obstructing lesions and the influence of pressure drop across an area of stenosis affect coronary blood flow and function of the collateral circulation. Dynamic coronary obstruction can occur in normal vessels and vessels with stenosis in which vasomotion or spasm may be superimposed on a fixed stenosis. Persisting ischemia may promote growth of developed collateral blood flow. And that is ischemic heart disease.
Have a great day.